Hey guys, welcome to D3 Media. Um, late night video, got nothing else to do. I uh, wanted to talk about some recent news that's been uh, that's been floating around about a canceled Superman video game. Um, I've uh, been hearing about this game for the past couple years, ever since Arkham Knight came out. And uh, there was an there was a Easter egg in Arkham Knight. I remember where uh, Lex Luthor. Uh, made a phone call to to uh, to Bruce Wayne in the game, and you, you could hear his voice on the on the the answering machine. So ever since then, everybody's been talking about a uh, Warner Brothers Interactive developing a uh, Superman game set in the uh, Arkham universe, which you know could be awesome or Rocksteady doing it. It's so, well, one of them, but um, I've always been pretty skeptical that the, the game even existed and uh, I never had high hopes that we'd get a, a good Superman game. Um, so I just realized that I left the, the curtains open so you could see like my reflection in the back of me talking. So um, yeah, weird, but um, yeah, I never had any faith that, that there'd be a, a Superman game coming out at all. So uh, yeah, after uh, I think the last game that we were, that, that was supposed to come out was a factor five Superman game on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation three. And it just, it never happened. I think factor five closed down and the, the game just never saw the light of day. But anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, wanted to just take a look at the news recently from all this. So let's see, we got this here. So, yeah, canceled Superman game concept art appears to be revealed on Twitter. And this has been happening over the past uh, a couple weeks or so. So let me enlarge me a little bit here. And uh, yeah, so it, uh, it looks like that concept art got leaked. And now I, now I know that this game was legit. Um, so my skepticism was, you know, unfounded i guess or, or whatever but yeah this game's been in rumor development for many years and like i said I, I really didn't believe that it even existed i thought it was just rumors even though there was a, a rumored suicide suicide squad game i did figure that the arkham games took place in a, in a bigger dc universe so you know that um so that way uh you, you know that these games could happen or whatever that there could be a possibility of them expanding upon this but you know, everything's so up in the air with the Arkham universe. Like, there's supposed to be another game, and everything's so all over the place. So, yeah, I, it's hard to really take anything that they, these rumors seriously. But as you can see here, there was this this concept art that was leaked, and it was concept art that was done by um, Joel Dos Reyes Vegas or. Vegas. I'm sorry that I just murdered his last name, but he seems like he's an excellent artist. You know, I, um, I, that he's done work on the, the Arkham games. I think Arkham Knight. Yeah. As you can see here, some concept art and this excellent artist, man. Like, uh, I see that he's followed by a couple other artists that I, uh, already follow. And yeah, just a really great artist. So, um, and he drew this picture. So let me see if I can bring it up here. I had it saved. There it is right there. So, um yeah there is supposed to be the metropolis skyline it looks beautiful and uh that that looks like a game that i would definitely love to to play i love the look of it i love the futuristic look of metropolis it's it's a very cool looking game or cool looking picture and this one's even like I, i've seen more high def versions of this picture and it looks even better so i don't even think this one right here does it justice but yeah apparently um yeah, Rocksteady pitched a Superman game after making Batman Arkham Knight, but WB said no. And uh, apparently that means that the the Suicide Squad game that was teased at the end of Arkham Origins is no longer happening either. So, um, yeah, it, it sucks. You know, I would love to see a studio actually attempt to make a, a really good Superman game. Um, I think the closest thing to a good Superman game we've had was probably the death of Ret and return of Superman on the Super Nintendo and then the Superman Shadows of Apocalypse, which was a, a game based off the animated series. And that game was, that game was, it was fun. You know, it wasn't anything special, but it was just a, a fun game. But I don't think we've, we haven't had any game that does Superman justice. And, uh, 
you know, I, I it's sad, you know, I really would have loved to see this game. Superman's like my favorite superhero. And I think if they, they get it right, this could have been a really great game. So, and then here's a, some screenshots from the factor five game that, um, that got canceled. I remember I bought a, an Xbox 360 just for th- this and Batman Arkham Asylum. So I was really excited for this game and it uh, fortunately was canceled. And here's some, let me see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, this is some, uh, some concept art here. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it just sucks. Um, you know, I'd really love to, you know, see a good Superman game. If anything, I, uh, you know, give the artist here a follow on Instagram. And uh, yeah, like I said, he's just a really good at his job. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but you know, that sucks. Um, I think we very, it's a big missed opportunity. We could have had a, especially on the, the current system, man, like uh, Arkham Knight to me, wasn't, I, I th- think they had a hard time capitalizing on, on the, what they did like they had a hard time topping arkham arkham city because that was such a good game but uh yeah i really would have liked to see what they could have done with superman um who knows maybe sometime else around it it'll it'll come back and uh i but i don't i honestly don't know what's happening right now because with uh i'm, I'm having there's going to be an episode coming up and probably next week i'll just do a quick teaser here about um that we're me and some friends are discussing the uh, current state of DC and how 5G might be the end of it, at least DC comics. So, but I, I feel like if, if what's happening right now with the comics and everything that's going down, like I, I'm sure that would affect just DC as a whole um, with what they're going to be doing with the characters and everything. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much more I can say about this. It, it sucks. Um, I've been hearing leaks and rumors about this game since, like I said, Arkham Knight. And then now we're, we finally see, like have confirmed that this game, you know, was at least in early stages of development. I, I doubt that they ever got any gameplay down or anything, but uh, you know, who knows, maybe we'll see some leaked gameplay footage in, in the future or something, but yeah, it just, it, it sucks. And I really wish we could have gotten a, a good Superman game from Rocksteady or Warner Brothers Interactive or whatever. And a Suicide Squad game could have been really fun too if it was done right. So uh, as far as the Superman game goes, like, you know, that's it. That's all I, uh, you know, I really uh, have to say about that. Um, yeah, hearing from multiple sources, Rocksteady pitched a Superman game as follow-up to Arkham Knight. Passing the project, tell me how similar it feels to New Gotham section of Arkham Knight. This could be for that. Yeah. And, uh, but anyways, there's that. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about is that, you know, the Charlie Cox, let me shrink my screen a little bit here so you can see the, but yeah, um, Daredevil addresses uh, Spider-Man 3 rumors. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Kevin Smith was saying that he had info on the next Spider-Man MCU movie and that uh, Matt Murdock was going to be in it. He was going to be Spider-Man's lawyer. Cause, which, I mean, that what better opportunity to introduce Matt Murdock into the MCU or whatever than you know having him defend Spider-Man. I think that's how it happened in the cartoon, uh, the 90s cartoon, if I remember correctly. But yeah, and everybody was excited, thinking that this was going to be Charlie Cox's uh, Netflix Daredevil kind of branching into the MCU since the end of the Netflix shows, which would have been great. But Charlie Cox has kind of squashed those rumors, saying that uh, this is all just he hasn't heard anything of it. And if they are doing it, it's not with his daredevil. And, and I think that, I think it's over. in as far as the, uh, the, uh, the Charlie, the Charlie Cox daredevil, I, I think it is. And all the, the Netflix heroes, I think that they're done. I don't think that they're going to go back to them because I mean, Kevin Feige casted the guy from, uh, uh, Luke Cage as, as blade. So, I mean that there's really, um, it's obvious. I don't think those shows are canon at all. Um, it sucks. I, I really wish that they would bring those on. I'd love to see uh, Charlie Cox's Daredevil teaming up with Spider-Man. Those are some of my favorite stories, uh, especially like from the '80s with uh, 
Spider-Man and Daredevil teaming up and with the Punisher and everything. The that whole like New York superhero scene is just I I love the, that those Marvel comics and uh yeah, it's just um it sucks. I would also Vincent D'Onofrio as a kingpin. I would love to see him go up against Tom Holland Spider-Man and I think he'd be a great MCU villain. So um I just hope they don't Disneyfy Daredevil and Punisher and all them if they bring them back as as different people. Um I think it'd be super though. It's a waste cuz now you got to start all over and I think you're going to alienate a lot of fans of those Netflix shows. So I mean if I if these characters show up in the M, in the main MCU movies, I I just I want them to be the the Netflix series. Uh, you know, I, I think it's either do that or don't do it at all, or or wait a while longer um, to introduce them. Like, don't introduce them right now, so soon after the shows got canceled. Or I mean, it isn't even soon, but I mean, I think it's still the the it's still kind of a, a bitter taste in people's in fans' mouth that those shows got got canceled. So. Um, yeah, that just sucks. I wish that, uh, you know, I hope that this turns out to just be that uh, he just had, they haven't reached out to him yet and that they will, and, and they will bring him back and like soft reboot daredevil into the MCU. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to babble on for a few minutes about uh, these two things that are going on. Uh, really disappointed about the Superman video game. And uh, this is also some more disappointing news. So I, I wish that there was some uh, better news for fans out there, but uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And uh, so let me know down in the comments below uh, what you guys think of all this, and uh, you know whether you're, uh, you know, it, you're happy that they're that they're not bringing in the Charlie Cox Daredevil into the MCU, or you know if you're happy if you think that maybe uh, the Superman game wouldn't have been that good anyway, because like it every Superman game seems to be cursed. I don't think he's had a really a good game other than the, the two that I mentioned earlier. So, uh, yeah, uh, just wanted to throw a few talking points out there. See if, uh, anybody else feels the same way or is anybody else is disappointed. So anyways, uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe, uh, throw me a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description below. Uh, I'm Twitch streaming up on my, uh, twitch stream channel as much as i can I, I think i got a link to it up on this channel um where i'm just posting my drawing videos so yeah check those out and uh anyways thanks for watching guys and if there's anything else that comes up i'll probably do another little impromptu video like this so yeah anyways take care guys see you later